Hey guys, it's Mac and Jack. Welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, comment on this video and like it. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for watching my videos. Today, Jack and I are going to show you guys how to make this St. Patrick's DIY Dollar Tree hat. Um, this hat is from Dollar Tree. All the stuff is from the Dollar Tree. You guys know that I'm always doing holiday videos and you guys knew it was coming that I was going to do one for St. Patrick's Day and I was going to do another hat tutorial because I love hats. I don't wear them a lot in my videos, but they don't fit over my wigs usually. So if I'm not wearing a wig, I'm probably wearing a hat. This only costs a few dollars. Let's see, this one cost about five dollars. So yes, I'm showing you guys another hat tutorial because I love doing these. And if you're sick of watching them, sorry, but it's gonna be really fun. It's gonna be really cute too. I can't wait to make it. So I'll show you what I got and then I'm gonna show you guys where I'm gonna put it on the hat. So if you wanna know how to make your own St. Patrick's hat, then just stay tuned. For this hat, um, of course I told you guys I got this from the Dollar Tree and I got this really cute bow tie that I'm gonna put on there. And then I got these foam shamrocks and there's two different colors in there. Jack likes them. And then I got the glue from there as well, the tacky glue. They sell it at the Dollar Tree, at least mine does. And then I got this really cute garland that has all these shamrocks all over it. It's green and gold, so it's really pretty. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, you guys so I finished the hat and it did not turn out great at all I am NOT happy with this and I think it was just the glue that I used I thought the tacky glue would be fine and usually it is when I do these tutorials for you guys but I think it was the material of the hat it's not just like that um, glitter plastic that I usually have used in the past and it's like a felt sort of material and I thought that everything would stick, but um, it's not really sticking to the hat. It's just kind of hanging on. 
so I would recommend, I guess you'll have to use a fabric glue or something stronger because this just did not hold it together at all. Um, and I tried to put the bow on it and it was a disaster. It did not stay. So I put the shamrocks all around and the glue is starting to dry, but you can see where it kind of messed up where that bow is supposed to be. So, I mean, it'll still be cute to wear on St. Patrick's and overall it's not terrible looking, but it's definitely not what I thought it was going to be. But I'm going to just try it on for you guys so y'all can see what it looks like. So, I mean, it's cute. You know, it's good for St. Patrick's Day. It's very festive. So, um, yeah, it just, it didn't turn out exactly the way I had planned. Um, but overall, it's, you know, a cute craft project. And you can customize it. You can get whatever kind of hat you want. If you want a different one. Or um, they have lots of different shamrock decorations at the Dollar Tree that you can get. But this garland is just not wanting to stay, so I wouldn't really recommend that. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm sorry that it didn't turn out the way it was supposed to, but I guess that's just part of learning when you craft and stuff. So I hope you guys at least got some inspiration from it to make your own St. Patrick's Day hat. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video, or you may dislike it, I don't know. Don't forget to comment, tell me what you thought about it. Um, tell me a good glue that I could use for something like that. I guess I need a recommendation. <laughs> And Jack and I will see you guys in our next video.